Hello, my name is Phil Barlow. I'm a professor at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and I'm presenting my and Saeed Rokid, Rokid's uh, paper on construction student perceptions on a studio-based model, a uh, case study. The studio-based model uh, kind of has a three-pronged approach uh, to make it integrated, uh, integrated correctly through the studio-based model environment which includes interprofessional education and project-based learning. Uh, this is what we're trying to achieve uh, in the Cal, the Cal Poly program, is utilizing all three of these elements to uh, give the students uh, uh, a successful learning environment. We understand there's many challenges for universities in achieving and maintaining this type of educational approach. Uh, number one uh, is the physical space. Um, uh, that's the area we're going to kind of focus on a little bit in this paper. Uh, the traditional teaching styles we also look at, along with the resources needed uh, to su successfully pull off um, a studio-based model mode with a three-prong approach. And in addition to that, we also recognize that interdepartment coordination is necessary to get an interdisciplinary experience is also highly desired in this type of uh, pedagogical approach. Uh, studio-based learning, uh, kind of defined a little bit, requires a dedicated space, small number of students, uh, specialized uh, furniture as far as tables and work areas go. Uh, at the time spent in the studio environment is important. Uh, we try to simulate the professional environment uh, in an academic setting to the greatest degree possible. Um, and, uh, and those are some of the things that kind of define what we consider to be a student-based learning module or uh, model. Uh, the four aspects we focus on in this uh, research is the physical space, uh, the class structure, uh, the pedagog pedagogy as far as how the material is learned and taught, and then the theoretical framework of community and practice. Uh, we as instructors in these environments see ourselves more as uh, brokers or coaches or mentors, maybe is a better way to put it, rather than lecturers. Uh, so we keep a, try to keep a balance between the academic culture and a professional practice environment. So what we did for this, uh, this paper is we conducted a survey. This survey, a survey like this was done in fall 2000, 2017 at the uh, at Mississippi State's construction management program of their senior students. And those results were presented in the 54th annual conference. At this 56th annual conference, we mimicked this uh, survey at our uh, construction management program at Cal Poly. Uh, we had to tweak it a little bit for our specific needs, but uh, basically we're trying to uh, uh, present here the results of that survey um, and then maybe in a future uh, presentation, compare and contrast the two surveys to see what the differences are and the nuances involved in that. So the survey itself uh, was broken down into four tar parts, the demographics of the students, uh, and then we asked questions regarding the studio effectiveness, the studio optimization, and the studio, studio learning, uh, studio-based learning. So we had 70 students uh, that the survey went to. We got 65 of them to respond, 23% female, 77% male. Uh, they all had uh, or averaged about 10 months of work experience. So these are super se seniors with probably three internships or more under their belt. So they're well experienced and they all had taken um, all or were taking or nearly had taken all of the seven lab courses that we provide as part of our curriculum at Cal Poly. Um, those lab courses are what we call our core courses or our studio-based uh, learning courses uh, that are taken as part of the Cal Poly uh, CM curriculum. So quickly to the results. Uh, effectiveness, uh, we asked the students to rank the effectiveness of the various studio pot potential studio outcomes that uh, we have seen from previous research come from uh, studio-based learning. And you'll see the interesting part of this graph is the top four are all very much uh, group type of, of, of 
favoritism of this type of studio-based learning. The group work, the team work, the group discussions, the learning from peers, the professional socialization. These are things that uh, we are able to achieve in these studio-based learning environments uh, that simply can't be or typically aren't achieved through uh, normal lectures. Uh, other results include the level of engagement, uh, very engaged uh, and more engaged uh, than obviously a, a lecture course. Uh, as you might imagine, uh, that graph is pretty uh, straight ahead with what we would expect to see. Um, a student feeling their level of engagement in a studio-based environment uh, versus their standard lecture environments. Um, they felt that uh, this, applying the studio-based curriculum uh, to the, a construction management program, at least at Cal Poly, was absolutely the, uh, the way to go um, and are very uh, much bought into the idea of utilizing a studio-based uh, learning environment uh, for a construction management program like Cal Poly's. Um, you'll see here the preferred course structure. We talked a little bit about, well, what's the best way to learn within the studio environment? Large projects versus shorter projects. You can see the vast majority preferred a short project type of, of endeavor. We find, at least at Cal Poly, if we put all those short projects together and create the larger project from the shorter projects, that's a great way of combining uh, the project-based learning environment uh, for today's student. Uh, we also tried to assess and confirm the amount of time spent in the studios was optimal for learning and the students' uh, uh, retention. Uh, one of the things was looked at was, you know, how did we spend our time in those studios? Uh, you can see here we spent most of our time through uh, discussions, interactions, one-on-one -on -one with students, mentoring and coaching. Um, this is a pretty even distribution of those things. Uh, there is some lecturing involved in that, so that's kind of class presentations, general discussions topic, uh, which is more of a traditional lecture class, but the rest of this is all studio-based type of uh, learning. The optimum hours per day is shown here, um, and hours per week, uh, three hours per day, uh, 12 hours per week. That would be three hours a day, four days a week. Uh, that's what we currently do at Cal Poly. Uh, so this matches up nicely with our current practice. We did before uh, use uh, uh, have more hours in the in these uh, lab uh, courses or these studio-based courses, but we've uh, pared that down, and I think it is matched well with the students' uh, needs and expectations. Uh, and then obviously the quality level is high um, for studio-based learning environments. Uh, overall quality is seen as uh, perceived as very high. So uh, I'm running out of time, but so I'll wrap this up quickly. Uh, group engagement is obviously a highlight, um, easier to obtain through the, uh, the studio-based learning. Um, we did again adjust our model. We used to teach these at 18 hours per week. We've adjusted down to 13 hours, more matching the 12 hour optimum that the students like. We also had four plus hours per day. We're now to three hours per day. This again, makes these adjustments uh, that are seem to be aligned with what the students want to see and have. Uh, the assignments were, have been adjusted from just get, throwing them one large project and then you know, letting them tackle it as a big project. Now we're breaking them down into smaller projects like for instance estimating, scheduling, and then combining all those things into the larger project. So again, um, it, it, all the decisions we're making regarding studio-based learning has been kind of purposeful and, uh, and informed decisions. It does take some private money to get the physical spaces in place. It takes uh, the dedication of instructional hours, and it also takes the students and the professors the ability to teach in a variety of teaching techniques uh, that are required in this studio-based environment. But the overall success is there. Uh, we use these, we use, we're using this, uh, I think this type of information can be used for programs that don't currently have a uh, studio-based environment uh, to propose and to push administration uh, to help uh, integrate that into their curriculums and also to uh, promote to uh, uh, donors. 
that they might support a, uh, this type of learning environment with these type of positive uh, conclusions. So thank you, appreciate your time, uh, and, uh, and uh, thank you for allowing me to present today construction students' perceptions on a studio-based model, a case study.